You're never gonna believe it. You're never gonna believe it. You're never gonna believe it. Guess who got a job? I did. Oh shoot, I just told you. That's oh, amazing. Congratulations, you got a job. Wait, what is all this? I stopped by the grocery store to get some stuff for dinner. You know where the grocery store is? Yes, mother. I'm celebrating by making dinner for me and Dylan tonight. Would you and dad like to join us? What's happening? I don't know. Tonight at dinner, I'm telling my parents the biggest news of all. After graduation, I'm moving in with someone. And his name is me. <clears throat> wow. Oh, no, no, no. We got this. We'll clean. Oh. Uh, oh. you're cleaning up? What kind of day is this? Cam and Mitch get a new son. You got a new daughter. It was really fun, you guys. Yeah, next time let's do it at our place. I'm in. Just give me a heads up. Our place? I, what? Um, well, since I have a job now and I'm going to community college, Dylan and I were thinking that, you know, we would get an apartment together. What? Are you doing sex? Okay. Luke, can we have a minute, please? Um... Listen, I know that you're concerned, but I'm designing t-shirts now. They're gonna be huge. Also medium and small. Dylan, would you excuse us for a moment so we can talk to Haley? Sure, but you stay. I'll go. I don't see why I can't do this. I'm totally getting my life together. Uh, allow me, if you will, to paint an accurate picture of this life you think yeah. you want, okay? Um, at first, it's a blast. Buying a dish rack, hanging a sheet up to turn one room into two. Alan wrenching a bookcase called a nyerk mm -hmm. because he couldn't afford the sklerg. But then, then those bills start rolling in. So you gotta pick up some extra shifts and suddenly, yeah. uh-oh, what's that? You're pregnant. Safe. Oh, and you're stressed and exhausted. You've got a garage filled with unsold huge t-shirts. And honey, if you think this kind of stress is not gonna take its toll on that body and that face, think again. Goodbye, beautiful skin. Farewell, silky hair. And hello, Alex's hand-me-downs, because you can't afford to shop. Huh. Good one. Mm-hmm. Do you think that this is gonna work out? Yes. Well, for my parents, I mean. For you? No. God, I just want to live with Haley so bad. It's like I missed all this time with her in Wyoming, and I thought I was going to lose her again to college. Don't worry. I got your back, buddy. That's not going to happen. What does that mean? Dylan, shut the door. The bedroom door. Guess what? Suddenly you're 60 years old, wandering toothless and alone in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Wait a second. How did Dylan get the nuclear codes again? During the robot war. Okay, I think your father may have gotten a little bit off track here. Honey, listen, the point is, the choices you make today... No, no, the, the point is, is that it doesn't have to turn out so bad. She's right. It doesn't. Luke? This came yesterday. What is it? It's from that college. You got in, Haley. Oh, you, oh my God. You, you got into college? What? Oh, it's amazing! Oh. <laughs> it came yes yesterday. Luke, why were you hiding this? I don't know. Do you not want her to go to college? I don't care. Oh, you're gonna miss me. Oh. Shut up. I am not. I'm never telling you anything again. Sorry, little dude, but she's gotta go to college. Even if that means that she can't live with me. Oh. Could you do one thing for me, though? Could you take me to your prom? Really? Yeah, I mean, if you go off to college and you don't come back here, I want you to remember me. I want to be your Angela Wilkins. Oh. Mom? Yes? Can I borrow that purple dress I said you were too old for? Mm, in spite of that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. D? <laughs> Do you have a tuxedo I could borrow? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's the tux I got married in, so it's double-breasted. Perfect. So am I. Okay. What do you think? You guys look amazing. Oh, little girl. I was so excited to see him bro. Have fun. Man.